I'll share some thoughts on the late pick four sequence for running aces on Tuesday night. It has a $3,000 guaranteed pool. Begins in race six, a 50 cent base bet. In the first leg, I'm going too deep. The one, Mark 1027, 92 in the program, steps up, but this isn't a group to fear. Raced well in the slop and last and has only two wins in 20 races on a wet surface. Should get away near the top of the stack and Brady Jensen could work a trip out picture. The two, just plain local, eight to one, comes off a sharp win from the nine hole in the slop and now steps up. Should get away in good shape off the gate and Todd Warren knows how to put the H roll in a position to win. Best to not overlook at anything close to the morning line. This one could have more to give. In race seven, going too deep to two American Dreamer, three to one in the morning line, has hit the board in all three races since shipping in from Kentucky and posted a win. Warren should have work a cozy trip and can roll by them all down the lane. The seven, PD the Big Easy, two to one, winner of three straight in the last was at this level and has the gate speed to land on top or close to it. Will be a short price, but the winning streak could stay intact with a smooth trip. Race eight going three deep. The one, Sneaky Hill, six to one, steps up and has been racing well, even though two of the last three have been in the slot. The veteran has won 11 of 27 in aces and should be a player at a solid price leaving from the rail. The three, a major omen, four to one in the morning line, one at this class, two back. Doesn't have big gate speed, but Jerry Longo can find a live cover flow in this spot. This veteran picks, picks his spots to shine and looks like a picture, and this one looks like a picture taking opportunity at a decent price. The four, Schwartz Brothers, Pat, five to one. This will be the fourth start at Aces since arriving from Oak Grove. Two or three have been on a sloppy track and will look for an aggressive steer by Warren tonight. Hasn't shown big gate speed here, but may bring it in this situation. Race nine, going too deep. The one, Amy Hanover, six to one. Drops and gets post relief and Demon Gee makes his second straight appearance steering for trainer Rene Goulet. Looks like a suck around candidate at a square price. The five, major offense, four to one. Like this one last week, but the track came up sloppy and didn't leave as quickly as needed. Comes back versus the same kind and should be in a much better price. Bean Chalk can make amends with a sharp drive. The 50 cent late pick four ticket reads one, two with two, seven with one, three, four with one, five for $12 and good luck.